Alright, what's good with y'all boys? We back with another one and today's video is on the must needed talents of deep Oaken. Like this is mainly for the people who are just getting back into deep Oaken and like they don't know what to really put on their build. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just show y'all like the main talents you should have basically. Alright, so the first talent you wanna have is exoskeleton. This requires 40 fortitude. You got to make sure you get this talent because it's basically just you, you take 10% less damage of physical damage. So basically like M1s and shit like that. All right. So for the second talent, I usually go observation safety dance because basically it just completely increases your dodge frames. So safety dance gives you 25% extra dodge frames when you like just base it on your base dodge frame. But you, I think you need observation for this. But both both is 20 agility as long as you get observation you'll be able to get safety dance and observation basically if you do a slight little roll like that it basically makes your frames larger so i usually get that instead of risky moves so another must need talent is spine cutter spine cutter is so good bro like i don't i can't stress this enough bro it's, it only requires 25 agility and 20 strength so basically when you roll and you hit them in the back you do a second swing and that's that's basically two m1s right there just for doing one motion all you gotta do is i might i might get bad rep with them but i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway for the video all you gotta do is that and like it, it it basically pulls off two m1s you just dodge and then you swing dodge cancel swing that's it another really good talent to have is aggressive posture because aggressive posture just basically makes it like so it's it's harder for them to run from you because when you hit them basically it slows them down like so they can't really press s it, and it slows them down a pretty good like bunch but they can roll out of it but it's still a good talent to have so they can't just press s on you another good talent to have is thresher claws basically you just get it at level 13 you get 10 percent more pin on your attacks just free extra damage why not another good talent to have is warriors respite it requires 15 fortitude so if you get exoskeleton you're most likely going to get warriors respite and basically this just makes it so you can heal like if you're standing still so like if i stood still for like 15 seconds it would heal me over time and also this works in the depths so like if you don't have a uh, graceful flame in the depths or whatever the talent is called then you can um use warriors respite and heal like that Another must need talent is Blade Dancer. So with Blade Dancer, basically as long as you hit them, like you you get a dodge back. So you can essentially have Tap Dancer as long as you hit them. But if you have Tap Dancer, which requires 65 agility on top of that, you basically have instant, like not instant dodges, but like infinite dodges. So you hit them, dodge, and then you can dodge again because you have Tap Dancer, and then you hit them again, and then you can dodge again. Like it's basically infinite dodges. Another really good talent to take is Polite Awakening. Basically, if you get down, basically if you get down and you're under 20 20% HP, you recover 15% max HP back once once you get back up. So like, let's say I got downed and then I got back up, like I would have 15% more HP than I would normally have. This is the last talent I'm probably gonna do. There's most likely more, and put in the comments if there's more. I'll pin. Like whatever the best comment is, most likely the comments with the most like must need talents I'll pin. But Speed Demon is a really good move, uh, a really good talent to take because it basically gives you bleed on your M1s, and as long as you like parry or I don't, know, yeah, like as long, as long as you parry and you get a speed boost from that, or you dodge and you get a speed boost from that, you'll be able to um, inflict bleed that's basically extra damage so why not actually that wasn't the last talent i'm gonna do i'm gonna do fast blade because fast blade gives you a speed boost when successfully paying an attack so that would be super duper good with a speed demon because you know if you if you parry and you get a speed boost you do extra damage basically and you do bleed okay and the other must need talents is swift rebound and evasive expert basically you get a speed boost from just dodging. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is dodge and you get an extra speed boost and basically move faster. And then evasive damp evasive expert just increases the speed boost on that. But yeah, those are probably like all the talents that I could think of. That's mainly all the talents that I have on this build. But um yeah, if y'all think there should 
there's some other must need talents definitely put those in the comments i will be pinning the like best comment basically and can we get this video to maybe 50 likes bro i've been trying to hit this 50 like goal for so long bro like y'all just don't want to like the video but hey i'm not i'm not hating i'm, I'm gonna keep posting i'm gonna keep doing me but like let me let me hit 50 likes one time one time but i'll see y'all boys in the next one peace